Okay, so for the last step in this process, I'm ready to advance my work now. I've got my head out in the uh, resting position behind the upper and lower shed spot, so right at the back. Uh, if you don't do this and then you take the weights off at the back, then your head out and everything else is just gonna fall forward and create a little bit of a mess. No big deal if it happens, but better not to. Um, so I'm at the stage now, I've actually taken off four sections of my water bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my last two. See the water bottles are just ones I got at Walmart. I picked them because they have a nice loop that they can hang from. And I put two on a carabiner and then I hang it with an S hook off of the loops, which I'll show you how I make them in a minute. So last one. Use my handy, use my handy little ledge on the side of my loom to put my S hooks on. Now at this point, don't take your knots out yet. Gather your yarn, give it a little pull to advance your. See all the spindles spinning. Um, advance your your warp at this point with the knots still in, so that you keep your sections all separated. And then you separate them back out and then pull your knots out for each section. Now you have to put your knots back in in the new spots. So what you do is you just comb through each section until it's nice and even and no bumps or knots or tangles. Um, this is actually easier with the merino that I have on right now than it is with the cotton that tends to stick to itself a little bit. Um, but it's still not that bad. So then you just tie a knot and make a loop that hangs down. And that's what you're going to put your S hook into afterwards. So again, just take one section, which is 20 threads for me, and Make sure it's even. Tie your loop and let it hang down. Okay? You do that for all six sections across. And then you take your water bottles again, put your S hook in, and hang it. And that puts nice even tension on your warp. I also, after you have all six of those done that way, so you put your S hook in the loop, hang your two water bottles on each section, then you um, give each one of these sections just a little bit of a tug uh, going all the way across and make sure they're just evenly spaced. I do pull the side ones in just a little bit just to make my edges nice. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then you're ready to weave again. So uh, I hope that was helpful. It's uh, the way I like to do it just because it's easier for me. I get that it's not for everyone, um, but yeah, maybe some of you will give it a try. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy weaving.